Hi and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So in this video, I want to show you an application called PDW. Now this application actually started its development by Jason Petty back in 2001. So it's actually quite an old application. However, in 2004, the development was taken over by a gentleman called Peter Hunt. And by 2013, the application was classed as complete. So what does PDW actually do? Well, it's a software decoder for decoding certain digital modes. The latest version will decode POXAG and Flex pager messages, along with ACARS, MobyText, and Ermis. The latter two digital types are pretty much non-existent now, especially in Europe. So I won't be able to demonstrate MobyText or Ermis decoding live signals, purely because there isn't any available near my location. However, decoding POXAG or Flex and ACAS transmissions, we can easily do. So first off, what's needed to get this software working? Firstly, you'll need a radio receiver that covers VHF or UHF bands. Now in my example, I'll be using SDR Play RSPDX along with SDR Uno software. However, you can use an original RTL SDR version 3 dongle or an Air Spy receiver along with SDR Sharp. You could even use a traditional scanner as long as you can feed its audio output to the input on your computer. So if we're using an SDR application to obtain the signal, we will need one further piece of software to route the SDR audio to PDW. Now the most popular application for this would be VB Audio Cable, which luckily is a free download on Windows. Now once you've installed VB Audio Cable and downloaded PDW, it's now time to set up your SDR software to output its audio to PDW. If you're using SDR Uno, click the settings button to show the settings panel. Select the out tab, and then from the drop down, select VB audio cable. Now, if you're using SDR Sharp, then you'll need to make sure that the audio module is shown. Once shown, select the drop down next to output and select VB audio cable. We now need to configure PDW to tell it where to listen for audio. From the interface menu, select Setup, and from the sound card drop-down menu, select VB Audio Cable. So let's take a look at decoding some ACARs. So first we need to tell PDW which type of digital transmission we want to decode. So from the monitor menu, select ACARs. Now here in the UK, I'm seeing some ACARS activity on 131.825 MHz, and we're going to set SDR Uno to AM. Now making sure the bandwidth covers the entire signal, we should start seeing some decoded ACARS packets shown on the PDW output screen. Remember, ACARS is an aircraft communications addressing and reporting system, which is a digital data link system of short messages between aircraft and ground stations. So sometimes you might get some interesting messages. Now the next type of signal for decoding we will look at will be POXAG. In other words, these are pager transmissions. Now pagers are still used, well, in the UK, but not as much as they used to be before mobile phones had SMS capabilities. Pagers are still commonly used in the medical sector and commercial area for reporting of state of sensors. Now first we need to tell PDW to decode POXAG and FLEX messages. Now once set, we need to set our SDR software to a POXAG frequency. Now where I'm located, I find a nice strong signal around 153 MHz. With the modulation in SDR Uno set to narrow FM and ensuring the bandwidth covers the transmissions, we should now start to see decoded POXAG messages. Now at this point of the video, I'd like to mention that it may not be legal in your country to decode these types of messages, so please check before doing so. Also, POXAG messages can contain quite personal information, so please think carefully before sharing any of these messages with other people or publicly. Well there we go guys, that's an overview of the application called PDW. I hope you found this useful and learnt something and given you something to go ahead and explore and experiment with. Until the next video, take care, stay safe, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.